Cruise ships. They can carry up to 10,000 passengers and weigh up to 250,000 gross tons. Yet, despite their enormous size and weight, they float effortlessly on the ocean. But how? How does something so massive stay above water? First, let's start with the basics. The key to understanding how cruise ships float is a simple concept you probably learned in school. Buoyancy. Buoyancy is the upward force exerted by water when an object is placed in it. For a cruise ship, this force must be greater than its weight in order to stay afloat. A cruise ship displaces a massive amount of water as it moves, and this displaced water creates an upward force, keeping the ship afloat. The larger the ship, the more water it pushes out of the way, and the greater the buoyant force acting on it. But it's not just about buoyancy the ship shape plays a crucial role too. Notice how a cruise ship has a wide, flat bottom. This design helps to distribute the weight of the ship over a larger area. Just like how a flat stone skips across the water while a rock sinks, the shape of the ship prevents it from sinking. It's all about spreading out the weight so that the ship doesn't sink into the water but instead floats on top. Now, let's talk about the weight. Cruise ships are massive, some weigh more than 250,000 tons, but despite this immense weight, they float because they're designed to displace a volume of water equal to their weight. Think of it like this. If you put a heavy object in water, the object will sink unless it displaces enough water to counterbalance its weight. In the case of a cruise ship, that balance is achieved through careful engineering, ensuring that the ship's design and distribution of weight keep it buoyant. Cruise ships also rely on something called ballast, special tanks filled with water or other materials placed in the bottom of the ship. These ballast tanks help to stabilize the ship, keeping it balanced in the water. Without ballast, the ship could easily tip over, especially when encountering rough seas. By controlling the amount of water in these tanks, cruise ships can adjust their center of gravity, preventing tipping and ensuring a smoother ride for passengers and then there's density. The reason cruise ships don't sink is because they're less dense than the water they're floating on. Think of it like this. If you've ever seen an iceberg, you know that most of it is submerged in the water. Icebergs float because their density is lower than that of the surrounding ocean water. The same principle applies to cruise ships. So, how do cruise ships float? It's a combination of buoyancy, shape, weight distribution, ballast, and density, all working together to keep these enormous ships above the water. If you found this explanation interesting and want to learn more about how the world's largest ships work, don't forget to subscribe and drop your questions in the comments below. See you next time!